Hello, and thank you for joining me on the floor for quarantine quiz number five. This week it is going to be 20 general knowledge questions, so they're not going to be separated into separate rounds, and the final question is going to be worth five marks. I'm assuming by now people are used to this, so what we're going to be doing is going to get straight into it, and I'm not going to give you any time just to get your pens and pencils ready, because I assume by loading it up, you got that sorted. So, question one. In the UK, we use police dogs to assist the police force, but there are 12 police stations in rural China that use a different animal. Which one of these four is it? Is it a police chicken, police goose, police swan, or police duck? So in rural China, there are different police animals that help to assist the police force. Is it a police chicken, goose, swan or duck. Number two, to the nearest 500 years, when did the myth of the Loch Ness Monster begin? To the nearest 500 years, when did the myth of the Loch Ness Monster begin? Number three, which musical instrument used to be a requirement to be able to play for a teacher living in North Korea? Which musical instrument used to be a requirement to be able to play for a teacher to get that teaching certificate in North Korea? Number four. There is one country in the world that covers 11 time zones, meaning that one citizen can wake up at 7 a.m. and another one can go to bed at 10 p.m. Which country is this? So there is one country on the planet which covers 11 time zones. Which country is this? Number five, according to Facebook data, which, statistically speaking, is the day of the week when couples are most likely to break up? So, question five, statistically speaking, when are couples most likely to break up? Which day of the week? Number six, Beethoven spent much of his later life biting onto a metal pole. But why would he do this? So Beethoven spent much of his later life biting onto a metal pole. But why would he do that? Number seven. Theodore Seuss is a world famous children's author, but well, which name is he better known by? So Theodore Seuss is better known by which name? Number eight. It's quite common nowadays to call somebody a hipster, but the word actually started to be used in the 1940s. Which type of music were hipsters associated with in the 40s? So nowadays it might be quite common, or it might be, you might hear it quite often, that you will call somebody a hipster, but that started the 40s. What type of music would a hipster be associated with back then? Number nine. Which commonly used symbol is technically called an octothorpe? So just to be really clear on this one, which commonly used symbol, I'll give you a clue for this, on a keyboard is technically called an octothorpe. And we focus on the first part of that word if you want a little bit of a hint. You can find it on a keyboard. Number 10. This is a fun fact once you know the answer to it. When you use a computer mouse, there is a specific unit of measurement for the speed and the direction that your mouse travels. 
what is that unit of measurement? So imagine you're scrolling with a mouse or a keyboard across the screen. How would you measure the speed and the direction of that? What is the unit of measurement? Number 11. Nowadays, groups of people will say cheese when they're together, whereas Victorian people would say prunes. What will be happening for people to say those words? So nowadays, people will say cheese, but Victorians would say prunes. What event would be happening for anybody to say those words? Number 12. In which country would you find the world's largest pyramid? In which country would you find the world's largest pyramid? Number 13. Which job requires you to pass a test called the knowledge? Which job requires you to pass a test called the knowledge? The knowledge in that case there is capitalized, capital T and capital K. Number 14. In 1866, Liechtenstein went to war and sent 80 men to fight, but 81 returned. Why? So in 1866, Liechtenstein sent out 80 men to fight in a war and 81 men returned. Why? Number 15. What are there estimated to be more of? Trees on Earth or stars in the Milky Way galaxy? So what are the more of? Trees on Earth or stars in the Milky Way galaxy? Number 16. In the UK, there are show jumping competitions for, ho uh, for horses, but in Sweden, there is something else called canning hopping, or canning hopping, sorry. Which animal would that involve? So in Sweden, there's a specific competition called canning hopping. Which animal would this involve? I apologize for the pronunciation of that if anyone does speak Swedish who is watching this. I'll spell it out for you just to make it really, really clear. K-A-N-I-N H-O-P-P-N-I-N-G All one word. Number 17. There is a metal band called Hate Beak which has a non-human frontman. What species is he? So, there is a band called Hate Beak which is a metal band. What species is the frontman? considering he's not human. Number 18. Which actor played James Bond in Tomorrow Never Dies? Which actor played James Bond in Tomorrow Never Dies? Number 19. One of the ancient wonders of the world is the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. In which modern day country would you find them had they not been destroyed? So one of the ancient wonders of the world were the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. In which modern day country would they be found had they not been destroyed? And number 20. So, number 20 is a little bit different this week. It's going to be worth five marks. And I'll read through the question multiple times just to make it very, very clear.
can you name the best-selling album worldwide in 2014, 15, 16, 17 and 18? So one mark for each. I'm ignoring 2019 because just to let you know now, it's a greatest hits album by a Japanese boy band called Arashi. I'm not sure how many people in the UK would know that and I think that would be quite unfair to set as a question. So, name the best-selling album worldwide in 2014, 15, 16, 17 and 18. I'm going to give you a clue. Think soundtracks as well as albums as you might commonly think of. I think you have 20 questions for this week. I'll let you figure those out and I'll meet you on the next video for the answers.